peace and light, family. Yeah. <laughs> peace and light. Um, I'm Uchenna Ilo, that's my name. And I'm here in London with my friend. Once again, we're doing a second video. Another spontaneous one. Yeah. And just send this video, so you can just tell them your name. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we didn't do this in the last video. Um, my name's Aminette Ra, and um, just to let you know a little bit about myself, I work in elder care as a palliative end of life um, supervisor. Um, I also work as a spiritual practitioner and a life coach and a soul therapist. And today we thought we would talk about. Our friendship. Yeah, I, I'm just trying to share. This is what we do every time, whenever we start. <laughs> we're probably going to get interrupted by your cousin any moment. <laughs> mm, yeah, it doesn't happen again. I'm trying to share. Um, I'm Uchenna Ilo. Um, uh, this is my page. This is my public page. I created it last year. I'm a student in Glasgow. Um, I'm doing a PhD in Glasgow. And... Um, I don't know, it's a very long story. It's very hard to describe yourself. No, you know? it is, isn't it? Yeah, so... Is that ego? <laughs> <laughs> so, what, um, like, you know, we'll say what we do, not actually <laughs> who we are, because it's not possible to... Well, we're not what we do. Yeah, we're not we what we do, not so we can't explain you know, who we are. So just what I do for now. I'm a student, I've worked in a bank, I have little experience in different things. And what brought me here, um, really, is just trying to share my own life Trying to share my life journey, trying to share my life experiences, and to see if it resonates with other people. And so far, I don't know, I think I'm going off the camera. No, you're in, bro. <laughs> huh? You're in, you're I'm in. I'm out. <laughs> okay, I don't know if I'm in. Okay. Move up this so, way. Yeah, so, so far, um, my message has been resonating with quite a lot of people. And it's giving me some confidence, you know. So, I do some writing. Okay, I'm a writer. Um, not yet an author, but um, I can call myself a writer. You're a writer. Yeah, I have a That's website right. where I write to, and I just love writing about life, about philosophy, about um, uh, spiritual things, you know, Balance. for those that believe in, in the spirit. You know. So today we want to talk about friendship, and um, I think I'm getting more comfortable now on camera. Yeah. yeah. Um, Okay, I want to talk about friendship today, and we're going to use like our experience, you know, how we got to know each other, and how we got to become uh, friends as, as as it is now. Yeah, so I don't know where we're going to start. Cause... <laughs> it's been going on <laughs> yeah. for years. It's uh, it's spontaneous, really, you know. So friendship to me, I think there are three core things, you know, about um, someone that we can call a friend. Uh, number one might be true. Wait, wait, okay, wait. Um, number one, you have to know the person first of all. Um, you have to trust the person, and you have to like the person. <laughs> <laughs> that helps. Huh? That helps. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think you need to like the person. Uh -huh. mm. And it's in the liking, you know, that that's the core of the friendship, you know. What makes you like somebody, you know, and um, so that that takes us into vibration, energy, law of attraction, attraction, um, you know, values. Somehow, when you uh, when you are starting to get to know the person, then uh, then you're trying to build the trust. Then you just have to like the person. So I don't know what are those things that you like about somebody that the person does. <laughs> You know, that makes you, you know, attracted to the person. Uh, even though the attraction comes before the liking as such. Mm. Mm, yeah, but in the end, you just need to like the person to have that person as a friend. Then there are also some other attributes that are um, separate from that. You know, like, um, like, I believe you and your friend needs to be like going on the same kind of journey mm -hmm. uh, like we discussed earlier i think there are different types of friends too different kind of circles of friends there are different circles of friends there are different concentric circles you know to call <laughs> it but the ones that are very very close to you mm. 
those ones that you interact with on a regular basis, like almost every day, yeah. are the ones I think should be on the same frequency with you and going on the same kind of journey with you. Yeah. There are other friends that we make along the way that we don't see every day. They can be very far away, but you can still trust them to do some things for you. You can trust them to talk to them when things are not going on very well. So. <laughs> that 100% um, I think my perspective is that my friends don't actually have to be in my physical presence but um, the vibration and the frequency that I have with my friends they could be anywhere in the world but we kind of meet each other on a spiritual level mm -hmm. and then there's that thing of um, resonance or quantum entanglement where you might think about a friend and then they might call you yeah. the next moment because yeah. you're kind of spiritually Connected. Mm. Oh, I wish you this one. Oh gosh, we're going through that one again. No, don't worry. You can no, do keep it. On. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. So you could be like really um, intrinsically connected, where you don't have to be in each other's physical space. But as Echenna said, the ones that you see every day and, yeah, and okay. cousins okay. come in again. Yeah, but he has a key this time. So. Hi, brother. Peace Hi. Hi. <laughs> we're doing another video. <laughs> 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 Okay. Yes, yeah, so the ones that you we interact with every day or we speak to every day would be the ones that are in our vibrational frequency at this time, in this yeah. present moment. Can you say that? In this present moment, the ones that we interact with every day um, are the ones that are moving in the same direction. Yeah, definitely. Okay, we'll put some time left. Okay, don't worry. I think you have some other we'll ones. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so those ones that we meet on, uh, the ones that we see every day and we interact with every day uh, just need to be people on the same kind of frequency, people going. Thanks, Hector. Thanks for sharing. Hi, Cathy. Nebo, Lisa. Ah, that's my friend from, <laughs> from Enugu, yeah, a long time ago. Peace Very good life, Peace and light, Nebo. Uh, I hate you too. Marcus, um, yeah, we pray for you. But more importantly, you need to pray for yourself too. Amen. Um, Hector, thanks for sharing. You shared the last video too. So, I saw that. Yeah. So yeah. So the friendship. The friendship now. Um, I, was, I was just. I was just thinking about something too. You know. I think it's also. I think it's necessary. The first step, you know, to actually attracting your friend, you know, is um, is actually being friends with yourself. Hmm. You have to be your best friend somehow. Very true. Yeah, yeah. You have to like yourself. You have to love yourself. You have to. Um, you have to love being with yourself. You have to like your own company. You have to like your thoughts. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and you have to know yourself in order to even. You have to like yourself. your thoughts. You have to like how you think. You like to. You have to like what you do. Uh, you have to be comfortable um, on your own, just like living by yourself, you know. And that's the self-love. That's a different topic altogether. Yeah, that's another uh, time. That's <laughs> another time. <laughs> so, if you're able to build that self-love and you know yourself, then the, the attraction becomes um, Authentic. automatic. Yeah. yeah. People that don't belong in your space won't come around. And if they come around... You don't feel comfortable, and those people don't feel comfortable too. So there's just no need. Uh, you know, you can't have everybody as a friend. There's really there's no need keeping too many friends. <laughs> uh, it's just going to bug you down and keep you. Uh, you don't fall, and um, real friendships are not forced. Anyway. Yeah, you, you know the problem is that we call every kind of relationship friendship. Mm. Yeah, so there's really no boundaries now as to what exactly friendship is. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, but for me, I think it's um, that trust. Someone I can really trust with my problem, with my you not know, my problems, so, but you know, someone, someone I can trust to tell. Someone you can be things, vulnerable with. Someone I can be vulnerable with. Exactly, that's what I was looking and for. And feel safe. Yeah, with. <laughs> yeah. Someone <laughs> you feel safe with. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, um, that's just the right word for it. Someone you can feel vulnerable with. They can tell almost anything that's happened in your life. Uh, without having to hold anything yeah, back. Yeah, Amelia. Yes, Amelia. Trust and compassion and empathy. Mm. Mm -hmm. Key ingredients in friendship. Yeah. Being a good listener. Okay. Being empathetic. Right. 
um, not being judgmental, yeah. allowing people the space to share their inner feelings. Yeah. I have a question. Mm. Mm, does friendship grow with time? Does it one get stronger or do you or is it that like first attraction like how do you put it like um like love at first sight or something? <laughs> does it just spark off or is um, this something that grows with time? I would say that um Love at first sight is maybe a physical thing. Um, okay. I would say attraction, a mutual attraction, a spiritual attraction is probably, the, for me, the foundation of a, a friendship. Then with, as you get to know somebody, the friendship grows as you grow. So that there's some pe pe people in your life that you're friends with, but you don't grow together because you grow out of each other's um, circles or spaces. Like, you grow in different directions. Okay. It doesn't actually mean that you're not friends. It just means your friendship is going into separate parts, on two separate paths. Mm -hmm. So, to answer to that, I would say friendship is definitely a thing that grows. Whether it grows together or not is mm. something else. Yeah, there's also something that there's, also, there's something else I always talk about. Um, you know, like, as we grow, as we mature, and as we grow, if you're interested in growth, you know, <laughs> your friends, you know, keep changing. changing. Yeah. yeah. Different people keep coming. And um, that's something people are not very comfortable with, you know, losing their old friends. Letting you know, go. Letting go. Detachment. Yeah, the attachment. No one wants to let go. But that's something we just need to do. It's painful sometimes, you know, but, you know, with time, if you really want to grow, even in business and in whatever you're doing, you know, your circle just has to keep changing and evolving. Yeah. But, and, and look, Amelia's just made another comment. I agree with you, Amelia, because um, <clears throat> true friendship, as in true love, because yeah. true love never dies. True yeah. love, the energy of true love can change, mm -hmm. but it doesn't ever die. If you love somebody, if you truly love someone, yeah. then that love doesn't end, it changes. It might change form. Um, like, say, for instance, friends that are lovers, they may mm -hmm. not always be lovers, but it doesn't mean friendship cannot remain. That's mm -hmm. about detachment as well. Yeah. That's about knowing when to let go of a certain type of relationship and letting it grow into another type of relationship. Thanks, Amelia. You should have been sitting here with us, Amelia. Good <laughs> point. Amelia in blue. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, so... Yeah. Our, so our friendship? Hmm? Okay, yeah, so our, so our friendship started from... Uh, yeah, from Facebook. I yeah. had a message for you. On Facebook. Yeah, it was from Facebook. Yeah. yeah. I can't recall how it started, but um, even with Facebook friendships too, you know, they're also, they're also different kinds of friendship because uh, <laughs> like, <laughs> social media has actually brought a different dimension, you know, to into our lives. Yeah. And it's making a different kind of impact. We have friends in... Um, all over the world. All over the world, different parts of the world. And... Uh, how do you get to trust someone on Facebook? Um, and do you, do you actually step you out and meet, meet somebody someone from Facebook? Facebook. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, could could the person be faking what they're doing? Because it is an ego platform. Yeah, because an ego platform. <laughs> no one and no one really knows anyone. You know, uh, we try to look at people's posts to make assumptions. You know, of what kind of person they are. Um, it may not really. T it tells a lot, but it may not really go that uh, that in depth, you know, of we you know you know the person is. So sometimes you just have to take that risk, you know, to uh, to meet up with uh, some people. And I'm glad I took the we took the risk. Yeah. Well, I had to give you that message, bro. So yeah, I think you had one yeah, it was. It was me. Yeah, so <laughs> <laughs> I see where we are now. This and we're like, still here. Like, like, two years, right? I think it might be two or three now. Mm -hmm. Three years, I think. Sure. I think it's three? Been, yeah, I think it's three years now. Maybe two. Anyway, time is irrelevant. Yeah, The friendship has lasted and it's still going, getting stronger, getting tighter, it's growing. Um, we learn so much from each other, mm. don't we? Mm. And it's I think that, yeah, there's something, there's something I've, uh, I've observed from our friendship. Uh, you know, there's not much expectation. Like, like, there's no expectation at all. Is it any anything. expectation? Yeah, of anything at all. So, so that could be like, you know, one of the attributes to our friendship. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we just um, flow. We just flow, 
Um, we don't expect anything from each other. Um, if you need help or assistance, you just ask, and the other person just does it. Uh, <laughs> you know? It's natural. Yeah, it's natural. If if she calls and I don't have time, I just say I don't have time. And that's it. And she just understands, and it just yeah, goes like that. So and, good. Yeah. And when she calls and like I'm busy in school or something, I say okay, I'll call you back at mm-hmm. so, so, so time out. Yeah. Um, just and we do And it it's the same if if you call me and I'm at work and I'm busy or whatever, we just meet when we can. We catch mm. up when we can, which we know is in the right time. Mm. Yeah. Whenever we get a chance to speak, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Then there's one. Okay. Yeah. I think you mentioned this before. I get this, um, a lot of insights from her, from her, from discussing with her. You know, I get a lot of insights about life and. And that's how I know that you know that that the friendship is actually of benefit. <laughs> I don't well, have to use good. that word benefit, but uh, but yeah, I think we need to like friendship needs to be mutually beneficial. Yeah, yeah, it's um, it's meant to be symbiotic, not parasitic. <laughs> not know, parasitic. So. It's so true. When you're in a parasitic relationship, those kind of relationships uh, normally end up. Uh, Toxic, that's what they call it, right? Toxic, yeah. draining. Draining to one person. When one person is always taking from the other person, um, it, it never really, it never ends well. You know? When one person is scared of the other person, or when one person looks up too much to the, to, to the other person, you know, I think in friendship it should just be equal. There's no, um, because we're all, we're, we're actually all equal mm. in the end. Uh, it doesn't matter how much you have in your bank accounts. Uh, and everybody has something different to bring to a friendship. Yeah. Something that's unique to the friendship. Yeah. Isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're all unique. Uh, that's right. So we, we just bring ourselves there. Yeah. <laughs> and be ourselves. <laughs> yeah, just be ourselves, yeah. So like you said like she said earlier, you know, um, the key is just in knowing yourself, first of all. So hopefully we'll be able to discuss that <laughs> sometime, some other time, you know. Uh-huh. How to know yourself and how to how to be yourself, how to... I'm, I'm learning how to look into the camera as I'm talking. It's really yeah, difficult. I'm a bit nervous, a bit twitchy, like, like, like huh? stammering and stuff today. You? Yeah, I think no, I'm yeah, tired. Okay. Can you, can yeah. you yeah, sorry, oh, sorry, sorry. Thank you for Am I doing well. okay? Yeah, I think so. I felt like I was, like, a bit stammery today. Oh, Michelle says she's met a few parasites in her time. Oh, we will yeah, have, we've all had, um Maybe we've all been some of it. Yeah, yeah, at some point. Yeah, that's how we've learned not to be that way. Yeah, Because yeah. we've experienced it. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so... So we share the part of someone who's together. For some time. But yeah. Only one has grown more than the other, so we've known it. Six years. Mm. Yes, Amelia, I can definitely agree with that. Yeah. When one has grown more than the other, so there's no longer synchronicity. Yeah. yeah. That's the letting go time. Yeah, that's letting go time. time. Giving space. Mm. But this growing and growing together, I think uh, if if the other friend also wants to grow, then you should be growing together. Yeah. Mm. I think someone, if one person gets comfortable where they are or they feel they don't need to improve or they don't need to grow, mm. that's where um, the stagnancy comes in. When there's no compromise. Yeah, when there's no compromise yeah like yeah, no friendship is all about compromise, yeah, yeah but when there is no compromise about growth or improvement or you feel that there's no more self-improvement for you you've done it all you've experienced everything then there's going to be a problem mm. in that friendship yeah definitely mm? definitely yeah yeah and something else friendships are not forced no you don't go around looking for somebody to please be my some friend people or something. Do. Huh? <laughs> some people do yeah some people do i guess that's Naivety, a bit, and a uh, feeling of w- wanting to be long as well. Yeah. Yeah. People that want to. Yeah, that's a feeling of wanting to be loved too. Yeah. yeah that's to that's like lack of self love too. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, when you feel you want to belong somewhere where maybe you're. I think I wrote something about that too. Um, I think you have. Going into a relationship looking to be loved. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? And not wanting to give any love. Yeah, but you can't give because you don't have. That's why you're looking for. And that's when the, um, you that love. the friendship. You feel that there's a space that's not that um that there's an empty something that's there's a vacuum within feel. you, yeah, that someone's going to feel. Feel. Yeah, and it's just not possible. Nobody can feel that. No, that comes from within, and that comes from self reflection and self work, working on self. 
Mm. And being alone with yourself as well. A lot of people don't want to be alone and get to know themselves, as we said at the beginning. Mm. So false, um, false friendships are not authentic. Yeah, false friendships, um, they hardly last. They're useless. I, and truly, I don't really have, uh, I don't have that much friends as such, you know. Uh, I try to be my own friend. <laughs> <laughs> and I like my own company, so I just move around with myself. And I talk to myself. And I just love being with myself. That's how I'm, that's how I'm even able to write most of these things I write. It's yeah. mainly in discussions with myself. Because uh, I know that uh, the outer... The, the outer person I am and the inner person I am are not the same. Are not, are not exactly the same person. So um, I listen to the inner voice, and I love what the inner voice says now. So I think that's that, that's how I got to become friends with myself. And it was in solitude. Of course, in yeah. the cave. Yeah. As you in write about. <laughs> yeah. And I write about it every time. Yeah. It was in the cave the that I actually got to know myself. Then I got to like myself. I never liked myself before. It was, uh, <laughs> and I think a lot of people don't like themselves. They don't trust themselves. They don't feel they are enough, you know, on they, their own, by on themselves. Their own by themselves. Uh, so, so we, have, uh, we need to get that confidence. The confidence, I mean, grows with time. But the first thing you just have to like yourself and know yourself, which grows from you know, understanding your suffering. It's a very long. It's a very deep. Story, yeah. <laughs> yeah. very deep because, journey. Yeah, because uh, I think it's from the suffering, really, it's the lessons from our suffering, you know, that makes us humble and uh, makes us want, like, um, it, it teaches us that lesson, you know, that core lesson of life of knowing, knowing why we're here, mm. knowing your purpose mm. and your mission and your and your passion. Mm. Yeah, so that comes from the suffering. Yeah, everything. Everything comes from the pain. Everything life comes from the lessons, suffering. people. Yeah, everything. Everything comes from the pain. Every beautiful thing, like Brian McGill said, you know, is rooted in one kind of pain or the pain other. Experience. Yeah. So there's no love without pain. There's no friendship without um, without pain. Compromise. <laughs> yeah, <I'm not> compromise. <laughs> yeah, compromise is something that um, humility. Everything is just. Everything is involved, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's no humility. There's there's compromise. A lot of I've lost some friendships because some people they just don't want to compromise some things, you know. Some people feel proud and you know why would I do it? You know? Well, because uh, they have a false sense of self. They feel that the ego is is who they are. Mm. Yeah, but it's not fully who you are. It's the just a part of you. Yeah. yeah. So your real sense of self should come from inside, and that's who you. Hey, this is my friend, Chrissy. Friend. Yeah, Chrissy. Hi, Chrissy. Hi, Michelle. Uh, Hi, Michelle. Hi, Mom. Peace and love. Uh, Chrissy is, uh, is a leader of the lost. <laughs> oh, well, um, yeah, we're in the same business. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we're all lost once at one we point at time one point. or the other. Yeah. yeah. So we're trying to find our way back home. Yeah, but we're actually walking each other back home. Mm. Yeah, so just to wrap everything up, I think um, when you know your purpose and um, you find your path, like, the path you're supposed to be following in life uh, is along that path that you meet your true friends. Mm. Really. So if you don't have a purpose, you're not you're, you're going to be meeting random kind of friends. Or if you're on the other part of suffering, or you know, I don't know what part, I don't know what's called it. Like if you're on a well, whatever path you are on, you're going to meet uh, the kind of people that are on that path with you. Mm. Yeah, so. If you choose the path of uh, peace and um, suffering, and, <laughs> you know, enlightenment, yeah, so you meet those kind of people there along that way, and that's that's how life works. It's uh, it's attraction, yeah, you know, basically. Spir well, I can spir thanks. spiritual I can attraction. Thanks for our spiritual mm. attraction and friendship. Yeah, beautiful. So okay. we've done twenty minutes today. That's yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, okay, people. We're done for today. Uh, yeah. So, um, so any what do you call it? Replay viewers, if you just play back what we talked about today, it's about friendship, and I'm going to miss you because I don't know what we're going to see. I know you're going tomorrow. He's mm, leaving going tomorrow. me, family, coming yeah. back. And she's going back to work. And I'm going back to so, work as well. Yeah. So it's been lovely. Yeah. Peace and love, everyone. Have a beautiful day. Namaste. Peace. Namaste.
Peace. Bye.